What's happening, guys? So, um, this is a little vlog almost. Uh, I'm not really used to doing these. Something different just to show you basically what I said in my last video when I said I was going to my second home. So, um, I'm going up to this uh, the county beside Dublin, uh, Wicklow, where I have a holiday house there in this little bungalow in the, in the back garden of nowhere. And um, so, it's just getting away from your friends and family for a little bit. Uh, trying to get out of this little slump I had. Now that video that I made, you can see I'm driving at the moment, but that video that I made, um, talking about the stump was made on the uh, the Wednesday, and uh, it was uploaded on the, was it Saturday or something? But uh, So that Friday, I actually, I made back 75 euros, so it was quite a nice day, but um, on the Friday. But uh, I said on the Thursday, after another red day, continue the stump I said that was my last day of trading stocks I'm not trading stocks anymore I'm moving over to futures um, now that might change in the future but for the time being I am going to be trading just futures and specifically the Dow Jones and the FTSE 100 um, so I've been, I spent Saturday and Sunday just studying the, uh, the Dow Jones how it moves how, how it opens up and uh, I was talking to a few other people, such as Dex and Lewis Croker, or Crocker, however you pronounce his last name. And um, yeah, so and then that, so now um, that's what we're doing now this week. So I'm going to keep you updated on my Instagram. Keep a, li leave a link down below um, for that. But um, I'll, I'll keep you updated with how I get on with that because it's quite a big change. It feels like I'm starting over uh, my trading again. Like I'm starting all over again. I've been trading the stock market for a year now. Uh, I joined Zed Monopoly's course uh, on the 22nd of May, 2020. And uh, we're now on the, what, the 24th. Um, so, and I feel like I'm, just, I'm starting all over again because we're moving from stocks to futures. Um, now I will trade stocks again when we're in a bull market. But for the moment, when we're in this period of a bear market or consolidation, I'll be I'll be sticking with um, Dow Jones because I love I love the idea of playing the same instrument every day, playing the same future, trading the same thing every day, and really getting the feel for how it moves, knowing how it moves, and becoming familiar. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and I'll keep you updated. So it's the um, it's the day after I arrived up and um, I didn't take any trades yesterday. As soon as I got home, I just kind of relaxed for that night. I didn't place any trades, um, but it's the day after and um, I'm, a I'm after trade. We traded the 8 a.m. open and on the FTSE, I think we took about six or seven points. So like, that's okay. Part of, um, part of getting your confidence back up is just taking quick profits, just getting getting the confidence back up. Forget about the money. I don't care about that for now. Now I'm just getting the confidence back up. And uh, when I tell you there is nothing to do down here, I really <laughs> meant it. Like, it's both sides of my road. There is nothing to do here except to just work. We've got uh, we've got two TVs. One, one is just a normal 32 inch TV. And the other is about 25 years old with a big arse on the back of it. Um, but uh, this is the house right here. It's a bungalow in a nice, kind of sunny Wicklow. Um, so I'm staying down here now until Friday. Um, and we're just looking to get some work done because there's nothing else to do here but work. Um, I watched the Manchester United champion, er, uh, I wish it was the Champions League, Europa League final tomorrow. Um, uh, so it's Tuesday while I'm recording this um, but that, that's really it I'm just trying I brought my books down everything I'm just trying to do everything I can there see a big tractor do everything I can just to get back to where I was now um, yeah so okay. so we can see now when we're watching the video here, we're about 15, 16 minutes into market open, okay? I try to avoid the first five minutes of the Dow Jones because it's usually quite unpredictable. 
but you can see we had a push up and we spent about nine, 10 minutes or so trying to break through 34,500. Now when you'll see here, we start to fade away and on the next candle we go, it's a big red candle. Um, or I think it's this candle actually, I can't remember. We'll see now anyway. We can see, look at all those wicks. Okay, there he is. So there's the next red candle. You can see we try to push up, but we can't. So when I'm, I've seen about, there's about 10 giant wicks there, all trying to break through 34,500 and it can't. Now I know it is technically above 34,500 now, but we're, we're just staying above, like only a tiny bit above. It can't, it doesn't have any, there's no buyers coming in to, to go, make it go that extra mile. So I, you can see me, I'm measuring out my stop loss, I'm getting ready, I'm, I'm putting in my position, so I'm putting in a 1.7 position here. And I enter, okay? So I enter and I push downwards. And I put my stop loss just above all those wicks there at 35, uh, 512. Okay, so we're risking 39 quid. But you can see, it comes down below, and then once we once we come once this candle closes, it's it's game over and the Dow falls. I think I get about 26 points, so not the most amount in the world considering it's the Dow Jones. But you can look at it now. We're up 12, 13, 20 quid now. See how fast it's moving? So when you see it moving so viciously like that, you you know you can hold your position that much longer. See how it's pulling back a bit now? But I knew by the way of how fast it moved back down, I was like, right, I can hold this for a little longer. And I have a support mark down at the bottom there. So I have a take profit there, 49 euro. And um, because once it gets down to that support, it could just bounce straight back up again. And you can see now that's it over. There we go. It took my it got my take profit right there. So it was really nice and quick. But if if you just scroll back in this video, you'll see there's nine, ten wicks there. Um and like it can't just spend it just spent 10 minutes up trying to break through 34,500 and it couldn't. So I knew well if it's not going to break through 34,500, it's going to go downwards. And when that candle closed in that first one red red, red candle, uh, it was also then below the 9 EMA or the 8 EMA in this case, and that just further confirmed my entry. So it was a very nice trade, and again it was only 26 points. But when you're trying to get the confidence back up, you're happy to take these. Um, small uh, these small scalps and um, because you're just gaining your confidence back okay so i actually decided to turn the camera back on and then um, there's basically day two and you can see since the last little clip i've got my hair cut um so this is the second day of the stock market my laptop is just booting up here now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you um, my trade that I took again today on the Dow Jones at 2.30. I didn't trade the 8 a.m. open. Um, I, ended up, I, I got very little sleep last night. So I decided, fuck that. I'm not gonna trade, I'll be trading that off. I'll be falling asleep on the laptop. So I, I, I missed the 8 a.m. open, but um, I was ready to go then. I got some a nice cup of coffee, I went up to Starbucks, and um, I'm ready to go for the 2.30. So, you can see again, I have the um, the one minute and the five minute chart up on the Dow Jones here. And um, I'm just measuring out a stop loss. So I'm measuring out and I can see the very top of the wick there, I'm risking about 60, 70 quid. And um, that's a bit much for what I want to uh, risk. So I, I moved my position down from a two rate, two to 1.7. And um, so, you can see now there's giant wicks here. There's a big giant wick and it just kind of came out of nowhere. I was actually looking at my phone when that happened and I looked back and I seen that wick. So when I seen that then I decided to enter. So there we go, there's my entry there. So I'll enter a short position here. And you can see it's actually similar to my trade yesterday. Um, you know, a, a push up and then rejections and a push back downwards. Now I actually missed the initial inverted V as you can see. But um, so we're starting off and I'm down 20 quid here and I decided I didn't want to place um, a stop loss at the very top of that week. Now that probably is where I should have, but I wanted to place it at the top of um, that week there on the previous candle. So you can see we're in profit now. 
and this actually really starts to come in my favor and th this trade is less than a minute long i think there's maybe 30 40 seconds i'm in this trade um we're up 20 quid now and now on a normal day i would um just i probably should have taken profits uh, when you're trying to get your confidence back up that's what you probably should do but i was feeling confident today after a nice win yesterday of 85 euro so here we go now and see we're in or up 40 quid and i say yeah that that it's we're slowing down now that's me that's me taking profits and that's um that's a 23 point move there i think we're caught on the dow again the dow moves an average of 300 um, points a day so 20 points isn't the most but i'm taking these profits nice and quick i'm just building the confidence back up getting them getting the money flowing again and um so this trade le lasted less than a minute long the trade from yesterday at 2.30 lasted less than a minute long. So that's that's 90 quid in less in, in under two minutes. It's, um, it's not bad. Um, who's not taking that? So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, make sure to check out my Discord. I'll leave a link in the video down in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.